one step closer to train sets, one step closer to finished station designs, one step closer to high-speed rail in California. This is the Spring 2024 California High-Speed Rail Progress Report. In February, the California High-Speed Rail Authority Board of Directors toured the white mock-up display of the interior plans for our trains. And then in April, we took the next step in making these white mock-ups a reality by releasing a request for proposals for the two pre-qualified firms hoping to build our train sets. That's Alstom Transportation Incorporated and Siemens Mobility Incorporated. Their proposals are due in the fall and the authority hopes to award a contract by the end of the year. We have already cleared more than 422 miles in June. We'll clear another segment between Palmdale and Burbank. Meanwhile, we continue to make progress on station designs in Merced, Fresno, Hanford, and Bakersfield. This is an incredibly important moment for the High Speed Rail Authority. This is the first time we've been able to take actual concept designs for the four High Speed Rail stations in the Central Valley to the community. Our station design and outreach teams have been using these renderings and 3D models to engage with community-based organizations to share ideas and visions for how the stations can benefit both passengers and the surrounding area. More than 13,000 jobs have been created along the 119 miles of high-speed rail construction. In Construction Package 1, one of the most recent sites to come online is the Road 26 grade separation in Madera County. Several public meetings have been held to inform the community about this safety improvement project. When complete, the 636-foot overcrossing will take cars and pedestrians over the existing BNSF and future high-speed rail track. Not far away at Avenue 17, concrete has been poured for abutments and seven columns needed for the substructure of this grade separation project. The bent caps are nearly finished. That's the portion on top of the columns where the girders will be placed. And working overnight, crews installed 14 of the 28 precast girders needed for the superstructure of the Belmont Avenue grade separation. These girders are 148 to 158 feet long, nearly six feet tall, and weigh more than 185,000 pounds apiece. The foundation for the abutment on the east side is done, while rebar is being installed for the abutment wall. Utility relocations are underway at Church Avenue, including installing new sewer lines under the BNSF tracks. That utility work is expected to be finished later this year, with substructure work beginning after that. Moving on to the Central Avenue grade separation in Fresno County, steel and concrete have been placed to form the abutment wall on the west side. The columns are also finished and rebar is being tied to form bent caps. Even more work is underway in the section between Fresno County and the King Tulare County line, which is known as Construction Package 2-3. In March, all 16 precast concrete girders were placed at the Floral Avenue grade separation. The diaphragms are done. Those are the bridge components that brace the girders together. Rebar for the bridge deck is being tied, and concrete will be poured in the coming week. Just south of there, 16 girders were installed for the great separation at Mountain View Avenue. Like Floral Avenue, concrete is done for the diaphragms and work is focused on the bridge deck. At the Conejo Viaduct, all the precast tub girders have been placed on the north and south sides. Across the pergola section, a stay-in-place metal deck is being installed to help form the section where high-speed trains will travel. And if you take a drive down State Route 43, you will see that the Tide Arch Bridge extends over the highway. In March, all 28 girders were installed for the superstructure. The Flint Avenue overcrossing in Kings County is nearly finished. Paving and striping is underway, ahead of opening the bridge and roadway to traffic later this spring. And moving on to the Hanford Viaduct, an incredible, 
740 precast girders have been installed to form the superstructure. Earlier this spring, columns were poured in the median of Highway 198. And in the coming weeks, crews will work overnight to place the first precast concrete girders over the highway. The Whitley Avenue underpass is currently underway near the city of Corcoran. The underpass is located between State Route 43 and 4th Avenue, which is also known as State Route 137. Not far away, the 264 precast girders needed for the pergola section of the Thule River Viaduct have been installed. Formwork for the upper edge beams are underway. That's the portion of the bridge that provides support and ties the precast concrete girders together. At the Deer Creek Viaduct, 33 of 43 columns needed for the substructure are complete. When this project is finished, it will be nearly 3,000 feet long. Moving south to Construction Package 4 in Kern County, Amerivet contracting crews are working to clean up an old farm worker housing complex in the city of Wasco. The work is almost done and includes demolition of old facilities on the property. They will be repurposed for construction staging and storage for the Wasco State Route 46 widening project. That's a Caltrans project that will be funded by the California High Speed Rail Authority. In the future, the area will be redeveloped to spur economic development. Support for this project comes from RAISE. That's the Rebuilding American Infrastructure Through Sustainability and Equity Federal Grant, which was awarded in November 2021. All of this is part of the forward progress of high-speed rail, a system that will transform transportation in California. To stay up to date on the high-speed rail project, Follow us on all our social media platforms or our websites, buildhsr.com or hsr.ca.gov.